Numerous artists have depicted our energetic bodies manifesting as physical forms. Many times there appears to be a swirling of energies or vortex. With a condensation or differentiation of energy from some source with a focal point in the brain. This presentation will be on the cerebrospinal fluid as what I believe to be a potential conveyor of the source energy to our physical bodies through which the I am is experienced. This talk was inspired by my love for the cerebrospinal fluid and a discussion I had one day with the organizers of this conference, Maurizio and Zaya, who mentioned this quote when I was telling them about the fluid by Nisargadatta Maharaj, an Indian guru of Advaita. He said, fluids come together and the I am appears. So what is the cerebrospinal fluid? The cerebrospinal fluid is a clear fluid that bathes the brain and the spine. You see it here depicted in blue. It occupies the cavities within the ventricles, within the brain called the ventricles, which we'll get into more detail. It also covers the outside of the brain. It travels down the central canal of the spinal cord, travels down all the way down your spinal cord, all the way to lumbar vertebrae two. It also bays all the way down the outside of your spinal cord as well. What's interesting is that the spinal cord actually ends at L2, but the cerebrospinal fluid actually goes down the dural sac all the way to S2, all the way to sacral segment two. That's sort of what we would consider the root or the root chakra. So you're sitting on where the, where the cerebrospinal fluid would end. But if you put your hands on your hips, okay, and you feel your hip bones, that's L4. So L2 is just above that. So you can imagine the cerebrospinal fluid actually continues going down further than where the spinal cord ends. Imagine, therefore, this fluid bathing the inside and outside of our brain, being a perfect vehicle to transmit information to the brain, whether that is melatonin to help us sleep or DMT to help us have vivid images and experience holistic states of consciousness, or as a fluid conductor of source energy to our physical bodies and to transmit the experience of I am, our beingness.